you were proactive, you were exercising, mm -hmm. you were because you knew your family history, because mm -hmm. now five years ago, you were told you already have the beginning of disease, right? You were taking the medication, making sure that you have your cholesterol check that you were do, checking all the boxes to mm -hmm. prevent that from becoming an issue for you down the road. But unfortunately, you know, there's so many things that are not controllable. We can control a lot of things. 80% of the cardiac disease that we diagnose and the women that we continue to bury, it can be preventable. But there is a little bit of that that we cannot control. In your case, you did everything to control what it was controllable, but of course, genetics also play a role. So we see mm -hmm. five years later, you end up developing the disease that ne needed attention to right. and needed to be fixed. And we changed our diet, my husband and I both. We stopped eating meat, you know, exercise, did all the things to try to fight it. But yeah, I think, you know, genetics sometimes wins. Mm -hmm. And and that goes to say, okay, before, before we go over that, I wanted to just go back to that statement that you said. I know sometimes people said, you know, you're doing all these good things and for what? If you ended up having heart disease, it's like, mm -hmm. wait a second, maybe she would have developed it when she was 40 instead of when she was 55. Oh, exactly. Not, you were not to change your lifestyle. Exactly. And be imagine, right. Imagine if I hadn't done all that. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. 